Real Estate in the Low Country is back after a break. And if you're just tuning in, we've had lots of great topics for you today. Right now though, we're gonna talk a little bit about the market, check in on that. Lots of conversation about what's going on. And of course, we're bringing in an expert to tell us just how things are going. Beth Drake, of course, is a realtor in Hilton Head Island and Bluffton. Mm -hmm. And welcome back to the show. Oh, it's great to be here on this summer day. Yes. Yeah. Nice um, to meet you in person yeah. after mm -hmm. seeing you on TV, of course. But I do wanna talk about the market because uh -huh. the market report sounds like they, just came they back. just came out this month everyone's talking about what's yeah. happening what is right. really going on so what is really going on is we still have very little inventory uh, people say oh our you know the price people are having price decreases. Well, yes, they are, because people were trying to price too high. Mm -hmm. um, six months ago, someone could put their, or I, like last year, I sold 50 listings. So when I'd go on a listing appointment, I'd say, well, this one just sold for one one. Let's push it, let's do one one five. And people were paying it. But now people aren't doing that. The market's settling down. Mm -hmm. So whereas like two months ago, we might've had three weeks of inventory. And what that means is that if, if there were no new listings on the market and everything sold, everything would be sold out in three weeks. Oh, wow. So okay. right now, the recent ones, we have a month and a half of inventory. That's six weeks. Okay. So it is increasing, but there's not that much there. Still not much. Like yeah. Indigo Run um, has one listing uh, and, uh, you know, that's it. Okay. So that's not much to choose from out of 800 homes. Wow, that is and really the interesting. Same, and the same with, and so, um, and one thing too, the media has really been talking about the recession, the mm -hmm. recession, and, and I've seen buyers pull back because they're afraid about that. Yes. But you can see from this chart here, uh, this is some statistics, recent statistics, and out of the last six uh, recessions, um, in 1991, the home prices did drop 1.9%. In 2008, the average, the median across the U.S. was almost 20%. But for the other four recessions, the property values went up three and a half to 6%. And in March of 2020, when we had that drop with COVID and people, prices still went up a median across the United States, 6%. And then of course in 21, they went way up, like 30%. So um, so it's still a good time to buy. It's interesting to know that. So recession doesn't mean declining home prices. That's right. So that's that's a good statistic to, yeah. to really look at and, and look at the historical data. You're smart right. to do that. Yeah. Okay, earlier you mentioned that there's one listing in mm -hmm. Indigo Run. Yeah. So if you want to so be in there. This is a beautiful is one. <laughs> this is listed at 1249 and I'm sure it's not going to last long. It's got gorgeous uh, fairway views, uh, probably 180 degree. This was a custom McNair built home and it's uh, four bedrooms, three and a half baths and you can see from all the architectural details with the eight foot doors and all the windows across the back. It's been updated with granite. It's got beautiful um, finishes everywhere and you've got this nice outdoor deck where you can watch the golfers or watch the sunset. Um, that it, So this one's priced at 1249 and I'm sure it's not going to last too long wow, beautiful where it's located. Property. Yeah. Um, yeah and then uh, close to this middle Island is Victoria Square and this is a gated community um, it's close to all the schools uh, a perk about this community is they have actually a storage area so you can store your boat or your kayak or your ski you know for free and oh, a lot wow. of neighborhoods don't have that that's unique um, this house is four bedrooms and three and a half baths uh, it's got beautiful cabinets granite countertops it was updated the you can see on the by the photos, the fireplace has shiplap. It has two decks, and it's really nice that the master is on the top floor along with two guest rooms. But then on the bottom floor, there's like another suite. So it would be perfect for an in-law suite, a guest suite, um, young adult suite that maybe have come back home, working from home. So this is a great choice too. And um, we've got that priced at 579. Wow, that's yeah. a great one as well. You also yeah. have one that might be good for someone looking for a villa. Yeah, yeah. If you just want a beach getaway or short-term rental investment, um, we've got 142 Beachwalk Villa, and it's one of the closest. It is the closest complex to the beach and shipyard. Uh, this has been renovated. You can see by the walls, and it's got the LVP flooring, and. It has a gorgeous lagoon and golf views out the back. So what a nice way to end your day with a glass of wine overlooking that. Um, it's priced at 
$199. And wow. it already has rentals in place and it comes fully furnished. Wow, that's great for yeah. somebody looking for an investment. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing Welcome. this with us and talking us through that market report. That was great, Beth. Thanks. Thank you for watching. We have more coming up. Stick with us.